All right, so the Packers have come in and added another pass catcher to this group. We added another tight end. It came out a little earlier today from Wes Hodquitz here, Packers reporter. First off saying rookie wide receiver Bailey Gather has retired, which is sort of shocking, playing six seasons at San Jose State and had one of the best catches during the offseason program. Then here we have the newest Packer. Uh, the Packers have signed former Northern Illinois tight end Daniel Crawford. He's wearing number 80 today. So I'm not exactly sure why Bailey Gather or Gather, however you say that, has decided to retire because I heard he was, you know, doing pretty solid. Um, but I guess he's decided he doesn't, you know, want to be in the NFL anymore. So the Packers have come in, added a tight end in Daniel Crawford. I've never heard about this guy before, but after doing some research, he does look pretty interesting and sort of seems to be a, you know, tight end slash H-back kind of guy. Can be sort of lined up everywhere. He's six two. I saw some places said 6'3", 251 pounds, and last season at Northern Illinois, he had 37 receptions for 443 yards and two touchdowns. And I did find a couple like scouting reports on this guy to sort of break down the way that he plays, so I have them right here. First off, they say Crawford, Crawford is an above average blocker, always finds a way to get open, and possesses great hands, plus a killer mindset between the lines. He can attack all three levels of a defense as seen on his highlight reel and certified on his pro day this spring when the 6'2", 242 tight end clocked an impressive 4.6540. Crawford finished his year in DeKalb with 65 receptions, 691 yards, 3 TDs, and a 10.6 yards per catch average. And then a couple other things about his game. One of the senior leaders for the Huskies in 2020, Crawford is a versatile pass catcher who can line up in line, out wide, in the slot, or even in the backfield, so basically everywhere. Crawford also logged plenty of time playing on special teams units due to his physical nature of play. He can create on his own in the open field and tends to add chunks of yards after the catch. I was a huge fan of Crawford's blocking, specifically his downfield blocking, as he has the speed to get the, to the next level quickly. Crawford's ability to do a variety of things on the field and to do them at a high level will ultimately determine where he lands in this year's NFL draft. Crawford is also a stand-up locker room guy and a natural born leader. So this guy seems to be a guy who can do it all. He can block well, he can receive, he can receive in the slot, out wide, at fullback. He can basically do it all, and he can also, also possibly playing on special teams. And so with the Packers bringing this guy in, um, it could be the fact that right now Dominic Daphne is on the PUP list. Also, Josiah DeGuara is coming back from the ACL injury. Jay Sternber is suspended for a couple games. So maybe the Packers thought they needed to bring in another body at tight end. Who knows if we'll actually have a chance at making this final roster. Um, but it is an interesting add by the Packers and very interesting the Packers. Bailey Gather also retired in the past day or so. Very interesting stuff going down, but I wanted to break that down. If you guys want to see more Packers content, Packers news, all that kind of stuff, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel down below. Um, but thank you guys for watching. I'll be out later with a video today. Uh, probably on training camp from today as I have the past like five days of Packers training camp. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching as always and I'll see you guys next time.